ओपन सर्क्यूट एंड शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट टेस्ट ऑफ थ्री फेज ट्रांसफार्मर एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट टू कंडक्ट द ओपन सर्क्यूट एंड शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट टेस्ट ऑन द गिवन थ्री फेज ट्रांसफार्मर एंड टू प्रीडिटर्मिन द रेगुलेशन एंड एफिशिएंसी एंड आल्सो टू डेवलप द पर फेज इक्वल एंड सर्क्यूट दीस आर द मशीन स्पेसिफिकेशंस द ट्रांसफार्मर रेटिंग इज 7.5 केवी 400 बार 115 वोल्ट 50 हर्ट्ज थ्री फेज ट्रांसफार्मर एंड द प्राइमरी साइड रेटिंग्स आर द रेटेड वोल्टेज इज 400 वोल्ट rated current is 10.8 amperes and the windings are delta connected the secondary side ratings are the rated voltage is 115 volt rated current is 37.65 amperes and the windings are star connected this is the approximate equivalent circuit referred to the secondary side the current i not flows through the magnetizing branch consisting of r not and x not and r not 2 and x not 2 are the equivalent resistance and reactance referred to the secondary side r not 2 is equal to r1 dash plus r2 and x not 2 is equal to x1 dash plus x2 zl is the load impedance here one thing should be noted all the parameters are represented by their per phase values first is a open circuit test The connections are done on the LV side and the HV side is open circuited. Now we will see how to choose the meter ranges. The voltmeter is connected to the LV side and has to read the rated voltage that is 115 volt. So the range of 0 to 125 volt or 0 to 150 volt can be chosen depending on the availability. Now the low load current I not will be around 10 to 20 percentage of the rated current on the LV side. The rated current on the LV side is 37.65, and 10 to 20 percentage of that will come around 9.5 ampere. So the next higher range, that is 0 to 10 ampere, is chosen. Now the wattmeter will be a combination of these two, that is 125 volt, 10 ampere, and since it is a no load condition and the power factor is low, we will choose a LPF wattmeter. Next is the procedure for doing the open circuit test. Connections are done as shown in the circuit diagram. Initially, the auto transformer is kept in the minimum position. Switching on the supply gradually vary the auto transformer, and the voltmeter reading is made to be the rated value, that is 115 volt. The ammeter shows the no load current, and the wattmeter readings will give you the core loss of the transformer. Note down the readings of the voltmeter, ammeter, and wattmeter. Next is a short circuit test. Here the connections are done on the HV side and the LV side is short circuited. The range of the ammeter is chosen so as to read the rated current that is 10.8 ampere. So it is chosen as 0 to 20 ampere. Now the voltmeter range is chosen as 0 to 75 volt, which is comparatively low because under short circuit condition, a small voltage is sufficient to circulate the rated current. The wattmeters are HPF wattmeters, and the ranges are 125 volt, 20 ampere. Procedure for doing the short circuit test is: connections are done as shown in the circuit diagram. The auto transformer is kept in the minimum position. Switch on the supply and gradually vary the auto transformer. Make the meter reading equal to 10.8 amperes, which is the rated value on the HV side. Now the corresponding wattmeter readings will give the full load copper loss of the transformer. Note down the meter readings. Now we shall look into the actual test setup for open circuit test. The wattmeter used in this experiment is of LPF type. It is written in the dial of the wattmeter as cos phi is equal to 0.2. that is the indication that it is lpf meter and both the meters used here should be of lpf type similarly we also have to take care about the multiplication factor depending on the connections that we have done we have to find out the multiplication factor and for this case the multiplication factor can be found out as 1 in this test we have to take open circuit voltage the open circuit current and the wattmeter readings corresponding to uh, the secondary side 
the secondary voltage is 115 volts so we have to apply 115 volt and find the other readings we will take the connection from the three phase supply these are the meters voltmeter ammeter and the wattmeters this is three phase auto transformer used to adjust the voltage and the test transformer we are actually connecting to the 115 volt side of it the power supply is turned on and adjusting the voltage adjust the voltage to 115 volt which is a standard at the secondary side take the ammeter reading and wattmeter readings now here there is a problem the pointer of the second wattmeter is moving towards negative side and in this condition we cannot take reading we require a positive deflection of the meter and for that we have to change the connection this was the first connection that we have done the m and l terminals connections should be interchanged so that the wattmeter reads positive so that is done and the experiment is restarted adjusting the voltage again and set the voltage to 115 we note that voltage in the tabular column the current reading is also noted the first wattmeter reading and the second wattmeter reading please note that we have to mark the second wattmeter reading as minus 42 since we have interchanged the connection of that wattmeter now the short circuit test we have to give only a small voltage to get the required rated current circulating through the windings and the multiplication factor of wattmeters used in this uh, experiment is found to be 2 so these are the readings voltage current and wattmeter readings and we start the experiment the three phase transformer uh, secondary are shorted and adjusting the voltage and increase the voltage until the current reaches the rated value the rated value of current in the primary winding is 10.8 so that is reached and corresponding voltage is also taken that is 26.5 then the wattmeter readings 180 and 143 these two readings are also noted and here we have taken into account the multiplication factor also now the summary of calculations we have taken two sets of readings corresponding to open circuit test and short circuit test and we have to do the equivalent circuit and other calculations on per phase basis so we have to take all quantities per phase so per phase voltage in the secondary side is 115 by root 3 because it is connected in star and uh, the phase current will be same as line current for the star connection so you can take that value as such and the per phase power is total power divided by 3 because it is a three phase transformer and since you have minus 42 as one of the wattmeter readings you have to apply the minus sign also here so finally you will get 23.33 as the no load power consumed in the short circuit test the per phase voltage is 26.5 you have to take that value as it since it is delta connected and per phase current is 
line current divided by root 3 and similar to the other case per phase power short circuit power is to be taken as the total power divided by 3 and the calculations first uh, you have to find out the no load power factor cos phi 0 so that can be found out by power divided by voltage into current so the values that is seen in this previous slide can be substituted here and you will find a value of 0.13 as the power factor and that is applied to this equation and find out the values of uh, IW, I mu, R0 and X0. These are actually the equivalent circuit parameters. And from the short circuits test you will get Z01 as voltage by current. Z01 is actually obtained uh, since we are doing that experiment on the primary side correspondingly we can find out the resistance and reactance with that expressions and since we are drawing the equivalent circuit referred to the secondary side you have to find out the transformation ratio and transfer the value to the secondary side so r02 and x02 can be found out based on the equations seen here to predetermine the efficiency, the general expression is output divided by output plus losses. So you can find out for different values of loading. It is output divided by output plus losses. The output power is KVA into X. That is actually the fraction of the load into power factor of operation. W0 is a no load loss and x square into wsc will be the copper loss and we can make a table like this showing different loading like one fourth half uh, three fourth full load etc and for each case we can find out the value of output power core loss copper loss and efficiency core loss will be the same for all the conditions because it is a constant loss and in this case we are assuming a power factor of 1.0 other power factors can also be tried if required after completing this you will be able to plot the efficiency versus fractional load which will look something like this now we can go to the calculation of regulation regulation can be found out by using the expression here and for different values of power factor, regulation will also be different. So we can make a table like this for different leading power factor, lagging power factor and unity power factor condition. And make a table of values for the regulation using that expression. And plot the regulation versus power factor curve. Finally, when it is completed, it would look something similar to this. You can note that for some power factor which is in the leading range the regulation is actually going towards negative side this is an important point to be noted